State last year and against Mike Leach offense, and now you'll be preparing for a different offense. Right. Have you, do you concentrate on that, or does that register with you? Uh, it just it's just something we gotta adjust to, like you said, with Mike Leach and his uh, passing dynamic the last couple of years there. Uh, I think they're changing around a little bit, but that's something we're just gonna adjust and get a great game plan going in this week. Stay on the road, Charlie. A couple of the players mentioned the OAF, the OAF, the game you tweeted about it. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of something like a mantra the defense is adopting? Where did that come from? Uh, it actually came from Dallas because we were trying to come up with a saying for the defense and the mentality of our defense and DOA. Uh, Dallas Turner came up with it, and that's just something we stuck with since since the summer, and it's something we really believe in, and we really have that mentality when we go out there on the field. Ryan Hennessy. This uh, secondary is really coming together nicely. Obviously, we know about Kool Aid, but Terion's really completing himself as a player at the other side. And you, how confident are you guys feeling when it really matters the most right now? Yeah, we, we got complete confidence in ourselves. Uh, I think that that just comes from preparing, the way we prepare and practice. And we always challenge each other. Like, if I see Terion uh, not doing what he's supposed to do, not to say he's not doing what he's supposed to do, but like, messing up on a call or something like that, I, I check him about it. He check me if he see me slacking or something like that. But we also challenge each other, like uh, just staying after practice, getting extra reps, and uh, basically being on the same page and talking over what we're going to see and how we how we're going to adjust to certain things in the game. Mike Britta. When did you start to first notice Jalen Hale, and have you seen him kind of come along uh, you know, the last couple months? Yeah, I started seeing Hale in the summer, actually, and uh, he's – like you said, he's been coming along very well, and I'm, I'm excited for him. I think he's going to be a great player for us. Charlie? Deontay went down. What did you see from guys like Tresman and Jahad when they were able to step in and kind of start to call the defense more? I think they did a great job of coming in and uh, taking control of their position, and I think they, they did a great job of communicating with the line and the secondary, and I think they're going to do a good job. Nick Cumber? What makes Jalen's kind of deep balls kind of – so hard to kind of defend, and just, is any different, I guess, than some of the other quarterbacks you face? Um, I would say he, he's very strong, so he's got a strong arm, and he knows his receivers. I would say that, and like that catch against that, that Jermaine had in the game, it was really a throw when you threw it where only Jermaine could catch it. And so I think that's that's one thing that makes his deep ball so good, just his connection with the receivers. Anything else for Malcolm? Nick Saban said on his TV show last night that he thinks you could be the CEO of a company one day. Just what does that? Yeah. Is it about me? What does that mean to you, and what company do you plan on taking over? Uh, it means a lot coming from him. Uh, man, that's a big compliment. But uh, a company, I don't, I don't really know. Maybe I don't know for real. For real, I had to think about it. But that's a that's a good compliment from Coach. Anything else? Thank you, Valentine. Appreciate y'all.